Over the last few days, we've had hundreds of emails and thousands of phone calls from constituents and Canadians across this country who are questioning why the Prime Minister is invoking the Emergencies Act. And you're right to question this. This is unprecedented. This has never been done by a government in a Canadian history. And this is setting a dangerous precedent in that it is giving the government unfettered powers and certainly talking about freezing bank accounts, uh, something that no Canadian would ever think a government would want to be doing. But it's also a precedent in that we never used these powers before when during OCA or September 11th or during the height of this pandemic, even to remove the blockades of anti-pipeline protesters two years ago that were blocking railways and highways, backing up ships at the ports that brought our economy to its knees. Justin Trudeau didn't invoke the Emergencies Act at that time. In fact, he met, made sure he went out and met with those protesters, something he has refused to do this time. And in fact, we didn't need the Emergencies Act to clear the bridge and the illegal blockade at Ambassador Bridge, Coots Border Crossing, Emerson. Those borders were and blockades were removed by people going out and speaking to those protesters. Myself and my colleagues were in, in Coots this weekend speaking to those who had concerns and listening to their concerns. And that is what the Prime Minister is refusing to do. So what are we asking Canadians to do over the next few days as we debate uh, this legislation probably throughout the night over the next uh, two days. We are asking you to contact Liberal and NDP MPs and say this is not something you support. This is a power grab, a massive overreach that no Canadian government has justified to do, certainly in this situation. In fact, the last time the War Measures Act was brought in by Pierre Trudeau, the NDP voted against it. So why are they having a different perspective at this time for what is clearly not a national emergency or a national, uh, a national security um, risk that, that's here on the Hill or anywhere else across Canada. We'll keep you up to date with what's going on, uh, but I will be voting against imposing uh, the Emergencies Act. The federal government and Justin Trudeau has not justified why this is needed. And this falls squarely at his feet as a failure in his leadership and of the Liberal government to take any action whatsoever until this option. We'll keep you in the, we'll keep you in the loop. Thanks very much.